I wish I had this years ago and get me over that first book hump to then like, oh, that that's it? R- really? <laughs> this yeah. is what I've been so scared of? It demystifies and, it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. so for those people who are like, well, I've no ambition to be an author or write, you know, do that as a profession. For me, you know, like I love to paint. I have no intention of really selling any of my yeah. my art. I, I've just started playing the piano for fun, um, yeah. not because I want to become a musician yeah. or sell albums or you know be an international superstar diva. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing it for fun. So like you're allowed to do things for fun to follow your creative curiosities. You know, yeah. do you read a book because you you know? for like like serious reasons or do you just read it to enjoy it like you're allowed to enjoy things I listened to a really good podcast recently about um having a fun intervention and I think that really sits well with the worst book thing like you know we we our lives are so scheduled and we have goals and we you know we work towards them and you know we we perform in certain ways in our professional lives and and you know we're trying to be good people in the world we're trying to be good family members and you know that's all great but sometimes there's like there's this other stuff where there's fun and there's play and there's passion and creativity and and that doesn't necessarily have to have a set outcome or you know like a, a real defined purpose it can just be for the fun of it yeah and that is just as valuable if not more so yeah and who knows what you'll discover and that's the fun of it 